afternoon, Truth Wins team. As you can see, we're being a little more colorful uh, these days because it's a new year. You'll see this in the new year of 2024. And our title is More. More. Yeah. We, we all want more of Jesus. More in 2024. It's the year of more. But before we get into our lesson, we'll start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we glorify you. We thank you, Father, for this day, this year, this lifetime, this this all in all. You're you're giving us this uh, opportunity to be a blessing unto you and our fellow man. We thank you, Father, for all the blessings of your Word and your Spirit. Your Rock Hakadash or Brock Hakadash, I think it's in Hebrew, and we thank you, Father, that that we are cognizant and more uh, willing to allow your spirit and your words to permeate our daily lives. And we thank you, Father, we continue to grow in the, in the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding and the revelation of your word and your spirit. In Jesus' name, the name of all names, amen. Amen. So our topic today is more, and there's lots of reasons for more. And one of the things is God's more than enough. But Yeah, um, our cup runneth over our cup runneth with more. Over with more. But the, we're going to go see our first scripture, and then we'll come back to talk about more. It says uh, in John 21, 25, And there are also many other things which Jesus did. The which, if they should be written, anyone, I suppose, that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. And we all said, Amen. Amen. And so it's like, wow, when we were saying God's more than enough, it's the fact that, that Jesus did more than could be put in any book and everything we don't even yeah. we, we just have a sprinkling of the miracles he did he yeah there was only what uh 37 right miracles uh, miracles recorded in in the four gospels right and then, and, and in yeah, acts i presume right and then at, a lot of the time it said and he healed them all and we don't even know what the all yeah, is all they are <laughs> Like what the diseases were they were healed of, who the people were, if it was a whole family, yeah, it was a, a whole it city. Was, our cup runneth over. They oh, did. More. Right. We don't know really all those. But we're going to look at um, his miracles. As you said, it was 37 miracles that recorded, are recorded. In, that we know of. In um, the various beginning gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah. And here's a list of all of them. Uh, the first one, it says, uh, it turned water into wine at the wedding of Cana. Uh, yeah, that was his first miracle. And, uh, you know, is if you read that, uh, that scripture in, about that, that his mother was involved. And uh, I believe uh, people said that it was one of his relatives, probably his sister, that was, was marrying. And they had run out of wine and... And he made a miracle of turning water into wine. And another one is he healed the centurion's uh, paralyzed servant in Capernaum. And that was the one where Jesus said he marveled at the faith that that man had, that centurion, that army uh, Gentile. <laughs> he was greater, greater than all the, the, the sages of the, of the day. And uh, he, cast, he cast out a, the devil or he cast out demons in, into the herd of pigs, and there was a that was a great event. And he raised Jairus' daughter uh, back to life, and he you know that was a, a great event. When there was other other healings uh, right in the in the mix, and he walked on water. I always had a, this vision. I don't know my personal thought about that. That 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 when Jesus did that with with. Uh, Peter, Peter said, uh, I want to come out there and walk with you. And he, and he said, come. And, uh, uh, and, and then I would have thought, my thought, if I was sitting there with one of the disciples, I would go, yeah, me too. I want to jump out there on the water and walk on the water. And I have this kind of a vision, a mental uh, 
vision of all that where where all 12, 12 disciples are walking along with Jesus on the water and the boat's following behind him in a calm water. And also, uh, uh, there was another miraculous, mirac- oh yeah, the where he, uh, Peter came to him and said, um, the miracle temple tax in the fish's mouth. And, and Jesus said, uh, well, does the, does the, the king's uh, family pay taxes? And he goes, no, no. So we, he was implying that we really shouldn't be paying taxes. We're part of the kingdom. And uh, he told him, well, because of the situation, you go to the first fish you pick out of the, out of the Galilee, it will have the, the payment of tax. And that was that came to fruition, it, just as Jesus said, and it was like a, a miracle of miracles. And he also raised his his friend uh, Lazarus from the dead in Bethany after four days. And also there was another one uh, where the the fig tree withered. Uh, it was a, a fig figs or whenever there's uh, a, uh, what do you say? There's leaves on the tree. There's always figs being performed by the tree and this tree didn't do it. So he showed a, a situation where that's in, um, what is that? It's a uh, uh, Matthew, no, well, anyway, uh, it's, um, um, as scripture says that, you know, have the faith of God. And this is an example of uh, having the faith of God, calling those things that be not as though they were. And, um, uh, the last one I have here is the second miracle catch of fish in the Sea of Tiberias, which is Galilee. And, and that was a great miracle as well. Where And we're going to talk about that right now. And it says there at the, at, at the, at the bottom there, Jesus fed 5,000 plus women and children. Matthew 14, 13 through 21. Mark 6, 30 through 24. 44 and Luke 9 10 through 17 and John 6 1 through 50 I wanted to um, talk about that this miracle that we're going to talk about is the only miracle that was recorded in all four gospels and that's pretty profound if it was if the Lord had had us uh, had the four uh, witnesses to talk about this in the in the and give reverence to it in the Bible that has very profound situation and in this uh, we talk about this because they this is a situation where Jesus had the disciples to be involved with the miracle right so here we go tell a little bit about it <clears throat> is it noteworthy or it is noteworthy that Jesus fed the people through the agency of his disciples. He could have spoken and caused everyone present to have a meal, but he didn't. Instead, he gave to his disciples to uh, distribute to the people in Mark 6, 41. In this way, the disciples had to trust the Lord for everything they distributed. They could only give as they received. Philip, Andrew, and the rest were put in a position of total dependence upon the Lord for the supply. God still uses people the same way today. Right, so I think that's probably why all four put it in there. The noteworthy part, this wasn't just Jesus doing the miracle. It was the disciples. Being yeah, they part were of involved. It. They were they were intimately involved in causing this miracle to come to fruition. Right, and so what we learn from this is a lot of times people today think Jesus is just going to go do everything for us, but Jesus wants us to participate the same way the disciples use our faith, use our right. actions. Right, we are the body of Christ, so. He said that we're going to do greater miracles than he did while he was here on earth. Right, because when he received all the power, then was it in Matthew? Ma- that- uh, yeah, it was Matthew, uh, the last chapter of Matthew. He says, uh, after he had raised from the dead, and he was saying, hey, all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth. And then immediately out there, you record in Mark where he says that I, 
I am uh, to Mark 16, 15 through 18. I delegate all this responsibility to the body, my body, his body. He's the head and we're the body. We have the responsibility to take the initiative to make by the uh, prompting of the uh, Barak HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, to guide us because we know the Word of God and the Word of God says that we have the responsibility to take care of these situations, uh, not only in our physical body, but in every realm of, of, our, of our existence here on earth, uh, spiritually, uh, soulishly, mentally. Uh, uh, the devil, we cast out the devil, we get rid of him. We, we laugh at him because he's such a liar that we, we, we are over, overwhelmed with the truth and the wisdom of God that we just, you know, I can't, like he's, he's just a, who cares? Right. And I also like about the feeding, well, the feeding of the 5,000 probably was more like the feeding of 20,000 because you right. have the children and the, 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 but the fact that he included Everybody. It wasn't just for and the men. In this case, the there were all the Jews, children. right? But but it's really also that there was the men, the women, and the children. It was the complete family because Jesus does stuff for all of us. Because right. originally in the temple, the men were the only ones that went in. But Jesus is showing everybody's important. We're all equal in the spirit, really. Yeah. And then like you were kind of pointing out, it, that was for the the... The Hebrew, Hebrew the Jews, tri the tribes, and it kind the of tribes, the twelve tribes. There were twelve disciples, twelve tribes, and twelve leftovers, and twelve leftovers. It's kind of symbolic of the yeah. twelve tribes. And then he went on to do the same miracle for, when he fed four thousand, but it was for the Gentiles. Yeah, they were Gentiles at that time, right? Showing so this is really kind of this feeding and this miracle is showing he accepts everybody, the Gentile, the Jew, the woman. It's kind of like they, it says in the with Paul, the, there's nobody different. The bond servant, the woman, the slave, we're all equal with we're Jesus. All, we all are equal before God. Well, then, we all born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, we're the body of Christ. Right. And some may say, well, that's great. Jesus and the disciples could multiply that, but... You know, how are we going to do it? But we know in the we've heard God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. To have two or three scriptures that kind of clarify that it happened. So we're going to flip back to an, an older time in Kings and see that this miracle wasn't just a one-shot deal that helped feed one group of people. Then maybe he did it twice. But let's see what else happened about the miracles of food being multiplied. It says here, uh, there is a foreshadow of Christ's miracle in the life of a Isaiah. Oh, and Elijah. Elisha, I'm sorry. In, in 2 Kings, Elisha told his servant to, feel, to feed the people gathered there. Although there, and that's kind of what Jesus said too. What are you going to feed the people? Elisha said to his servant. And it's like, like Jesus saying to the disciples, one of the men said, well, how can I set this before a hundred men? And that's the second Kings 4, 42, 43. In the end, however, the men not only had enough to eat, but they had, they ate and had some left over. Second Kings 4, 44. Isn't that just like God? He says he will do more than provide for his people. He will give an abundance in Psalms 1, 32, 15. And it's like a cup runneth over. Right. In Psalms 23, you should, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, Psalm. Right. Um, and he says he, his, the cup that he gives us is overflowing. Right, but that was Psalms 132. It's also in that. Right. Right. And I think the whole point is our, our title was more. God is more than enough. What did he give us more than? He gave us more miracles. He gave... Everything in like, life. You think you can't pay your taxes because tax season is coming. He miraculously supplied the taxes. All our needs are met He's according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Food. He... And his miracles, the list, although we didn't specifically read them all, you can go back and stop the frame and read them all. A big majority of was healing of their body. 
Right, and casting out demons. He healed them all. It didn't say, oh, someone came up and said, will you heal me? And he went, no, it's not my will. He, There's no verse in the Bible. I've asked you guys to find it too. I've asked pastors to find it. I've asked Bible studies to find it. And nobody can find where it's There says, isn't any. <laughs> That's why they can't find will. it, because there isn't any. Jesus healed them all. Right. And he didn't say, oh, well, maybe that was, the, you know, the situation. No, there is no situation that he didn't heal them all. Right, because he's the more. The, right. the more, the more. So for for 2024, I kind of got this word to think on, and it's more. And I'm going to go click on it, and well, let's see what the more stands for. Well, the more stands for miracles, overcomers, righteousness, and ever more so right right well because well i guess it, did you want me to leave it up no more? no that's fine i think that the we what we see is what happened when jesus did miracles the people followed the people came as we begin to perform miracles at the grocery store at the dentist office at our churches at our bible study there's nothing more convincing to the un believer than than, a miracle (laughs) then god exists god god manifests his presence right when you see someone when your best friend is healed of cancer and doesn't die not by chemotherapy not by any medical way not that we can't pray for people that have that god provided that provision for the people that just can't get their faith together i guess Well, no he just loves us all so he he gave us ways but Probably a less damaging way on your body is if he just heals you. It's chemotherapy yeah. has its toll the, on the body. The, the the how would you say the Shekinah glory, the glory of God, the portal as some people call it, the the anointing of the Holy Spirit and and his, God's presence uh, overwhelms anything out of order. Right, and I I was reading an article the other day about the people who had taken the COVID vaccine and had myocarditis, I believe it said, and they still had it like six months after they'd taken the vaccine. Well, that also can be solved by a miracle. Well, Mark 16, 15 through 18. Yeah, no poison will harm you. You No poison will harm you. Right, you... You lay hands on the sick, you pray about it, you say, know body it, be and you well. believe it, and therefore it manifests. In Jesus' name, and no poison can harm you. So the more is more miracles. We're going to see miracles. Yeah. I'm, I, Jesus said we would do greater miracles than he did, and I'm looking forward to seeing people walk on the water. There, yeah, there's I, so I many have this miracles. thing. You know, God gave me that vision, I guess you would say. It was, I don't, you know, it's just that it always is stuck with me since I saw the 12 disciples walking on the Galilee and the boat was following and they were all conversing and talking about the word of God. Jesus was standing there, not standing there, he's walking along, just the whole, the whole crowd was walking and, and it was like a, a like the sky in the, in, in, it was like a cloudy sky with a lot of beautiful colors in it and all that. It was just, you know, it just really was beautiful seeing that that the that the body of Christ the 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 miracles that we, that we can perform right and and they, we can, by the power of God well the thing i liked is we were discussing there what used to be an orphanage in england where the man didn't have the internet it was long ago so he didn't he couldn't like email all his supporters and say we need money we don't have food he would sit down and he'd say grace with the children and there was no food and the then there'd be a knock on the door and someone would deliver food. Right. So, And I've heard of that kind of situation many times. Right. So we've had people buy our meal just randomly. It's kind of like the random act of kindness. So you can right. either get the miracle, start praying and, and asking God for for to receive right. your miracle. You can receive you your can, miracle. And you can be the miracle maker in a way. I remember yeah. the time. Given it shall be given unto you. God told me to give to a certain family and I didn't realize what was happening because I was never yeah, that told. Was a, 
That was back when money was a little more ex valuable, and we gave five hundred dollars. <laughs> and and it turned out they were going to lose their house. It was being foreclosed. Well, we on. didn't know that. We didn't know that. And, and just God told us, told us the Holy Spirit no, told us go you, give. Yeah, yeah. and then he, we gave, and, and, and we then, thought, well, how much? And and, and the, we came to the agreement of five hundred dollars. Right, and and that's exactly what was needed. Right. So you can either. It, when we're doing these miracles, we can be part of like the disciples uh, giving out the fish and helping with the miracle, or we can receive the miracle either way. Because really, in a sense, the disciples, not only did they distribute it and feed probably 20,000 people with one lunch, sort of. Well, the two fish, the two fish uh, five pieces of bread, was it five? Yeah, it was five uh breads and uh, two fish right two he, fish dinner i always say right so he gave and it was prayed over and it fed them all and now you i was gonna say something and i'm sorry i don't remember what it was about it but about the two fish dinner yeah we can we can pray for a two fish dinner too like you can feed the i don't know you're gonna have to go now because well, i don't we get, know we you have the mac and cheese dinner I, wait, wait. I, I always call my i was told, no, told my not, grandson no, no let's not go there that doesn't have anything to do with god we'll go on since, more well, since god more, is more than more enough, than enough. Well, god, a cup runneth maybe over maybe that was enough on miracles so god said move to the next letter O, overcomers well as we we are overcomers pray through for christ these jesus miracles, our lord well, we're going to become overcomers because we'll pray for miracles of healing. We'll pray for miracles in finances. We'll pray for miracles in our family, our marriage, our yeah. job. There's and no limit to God's overcomers. blessings. And how are we doing this? The the thing he's like, is like, how are you doing it? Righteousness. Seek yeah. ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all, and all these, these things. should be added and unto how, you. How do we seek how do Matthew we, 6, 33. What makes us righteous? At, Jesus. No, well, he does, but it told we got told how Abraham got righteousness. We taught on right. That. We taught on that last week. So how did he get it? Believing in the word of God. Right. You believe what it, what what it, it says. When God said to him that he was the father of many nations, and he believed, he believed it. Right. And he so did believed Sarah. it without any, re, you know, like uh, not partially believed. He completely believed it. Said that, and uh, he he was righteous. Right, so that's how we. So we're we're gonna have more miracles. We're gonna have more overcomers. People overcome by the word of their test, the blood of the lamb, and the word of their testimony. So the blood of the lamb came from Jesus. We have it, and then our testimony, because it's as we said, what you say, 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 say. Because in that verse, it's believe and then say, say, say. The woman with the issue of blood kept saying, "If I but touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed." Right. So we so just. By her continuing to repeat that, it got into her heart to the point that she, she, he said, she, Jesus said to her, your faith, not Jesus's faith, your faith made you whole. And yes, he said that many times. Right, because she was him. righteous because she believed. She believed. She drew on the power of the living God that lived within her. And she, by what she said, manifest in her body because the the body is subordinate to the spiritual realm and the spiritual realm demanded that her body be whole right and the last one is kind of interesting it's he, he it's e and it, I, first i was going to do everlasting he goes no this is the more one evermore i go yeah right evermore. we start with more more miracles more Our cup runneth over more righteousness more. More, ever more. And, and that's the important thing for us to know. When we get miracles, like if you get a miracle healing, then you, you need to really study and know how to keep it. And the way you keep it is with righteousness, believing God's yeah, word. Yeah, and it said that the devil's going to come and try to pull it out of your, out of your being. And you got to be cognizant, recognize that, and say, no. You go back to hell. <laughs> go jump in the lake. <laughs> right. Well, because the miracle generally comes from the person laying hands on you or praying for you. God uses them as a tool to and get you. And we're walking in love. Right. It's a tool to get there. But then once you've gotten your healing, 
you want to keep your healing. So you need to study about healing. You need to study about finances. Right. You need to study about love. The book is an open book test. Yeah, Everybody and it says can in, read it. And, and Proverbs in many places, in the Old Testament even, says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added. That's that's in that's uh, Matthew 6.33. But in Proverbs it says, the, don't let the word of God depart for your eyes for his life and his health and healing to all your flesh. Right. So we're, we're going to do more. We're going to read more. We're going to say more. Like it's really get a verse, say it, say it, say it so it's in your heart. Yeah. And then and also I we talked about last week, Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, yeah, Isaiah 53, 4, where Jesus, it says, uh, it says Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. And then First Peter two twenty four it says we were healed because two thousand years ago he did it, and it's still there, available to everybody now, because uh, he, he's he's forever. It wow. didn't change. Well, we have one more verse that whoops, we need to click on to, and then we'll read it and be back with you. Uh, in John 14, 12 through 14, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to the Father, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Wow, that that's a... Yeah, a, a, he said it, I believe it, that settles it. Right, but it, it, it probably is stipulated, abide in me and I and you and ask what you will and I'll do it. Because it's not like a magic genie you ask and say... I want to go up to that car dealer and I'll just drive in and they'll give me a free car. But it's by the rules. Right. You can receive it because of the right. rules, but if, the, the, the law. Right. But you do ask and you do abide with him and you seek him first. You can ask anything. You can ask for your healing. It says, I will. So if he said in Mark, it says, I lay will hands do it. on Jesus the sick. said that. He's the Lord of the harvest. Right. If he said, lay hands on the sick and they will recover, that's a promise. Right, and if you, by the Holy Spirit, you prompted you to do it, you do it, it's not your responsibility to it coming to fruition. It comes to, comes to fruition because the Word of God is there to make sure that it comes to fruition. Right, So, and so we use the Holy Spirit to tell us who to pray for. It, they will tell us really what's up, at, what people believe, if the people don't want you to, there's some people I've heard, I haven't ever encountered it exactly myself. You go to cast the demon out of them and they want to keep the demon. Well, you can't make them leave if the people want them. So well, you right. just kind of... It is a responsibility of the receiver to... But you, to, you do know you have the power. You have the power, especially in your family and with the people you know that would agree with you. You lay hands, it's done. 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 Done deal, done yeah. deal, done deal. And you and and all Jesus said in Mark 11, 23, 24, and if there's anything that you have that you are holding back on, you not forgiving anybody, it will it will short it out. You have to forgive everybody. And it says, for Jesus' sake. Jesus wants you to forgive. And Jesus said to me once, I'm not kidding you, he said this to me. And I was having a rebellion there. And he said, you know, I, they killed me and I forgave them. And it just kind of sucked me in the mouth. <laughs> I was like, going, whoa, whoa, you, you know, how, how much more can somebody do something against you or, uh, to, to hurt you than to kill you? Because then you have no, no place, you know, you're not on earth anymore. You took it away. It took you, that person took you out of this realm. And, and, and Jesus said, I forgive them. 
and it, it and it just kind of like hit me because you know if somebody uh, you should be you able know, to forgive anybody <laughs> for things <laughs> right yeah, yeah my mother was a terrible mother and all that um, she wasn't but uh, if I heard somebody yesterday say that her mother was terrible and I said well you need to forgive them and she said no I don't want to forgive them I, well she just doesn't understand that really you're not really re- you know your mother needs to you for your for Jesus sake and your sake you need to forgive them so you don't have a an offense against anybody because because the law of love causes that it's not it takes the burden from you of that that hate that dislike that situation takes the hate out of you the love fills you up and you are happy and joyful because you don't have that resentment in your life anymore. Right, and you, and then Jesus is going to bless you abundantly because of you right. for his sake, because he wants to do it for you. And, you know, he's the love is beyond our comprehension, it says. Right. Well, so the last part says we'll do greater things than him. Probably the greatest thing we do uh, more than him is we can go out and get people preach the gospel so they're born again, filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues because he never could do it because he hadn't died when he was alive. So he couldn't do it during his lifetime. And it's something we can do. We That's a great, that's like the greatest thing you can do. But I'm looking for people. I'm going, there were people translated in the Bible where you're, you're sitting in California and suddenly you're in Sweden or whatever. There's just so many miracles that we can yeah, incorporate it happens into all our the lives. time and yeah. not many people know about it but right. you know that's why we're 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 publishing miracles you know right. miracles. about miracles happening throughout the bible and throughout w- the world right the and world, as you see the miracles, god's moving in the world all the time yeah, and as you see these miracles happen go tell them because that's probably what well, for the unbeliever like they can't really see God. It's all done on faith. And seeing a miracle gives them a stepping stone yeah, to and, getting there. And we have the responsibility to, God's not doing it without us. He's That's what this is all about. We're doing it as, there's a partnership a situation there. It's a team. It's a team. God and the Man. body of Christ have to work in, by, by the prompting of the Holy Spirit. We do the action and then it god makes the fulfillment right and then we have more we have more miracles more overcomers more righteousness forevermore yeah and i and he needs us to do it we need to do our part to make it come to fruition god is not just gonna be the genie and and make it happen all the time. Yes, but he, we know you're doing that. So. But he does yeah. do it at times. Yeah, we know you're saying the right but things, it, it's, doing it's, the right, right things, living the right way, loving. We know you're you all to, doing it. You got to you gotta study and understand and have a relationship with God. Yeah, and we know you're doing that. So we're you'll be seeing this right after New Year's. Um, we know you can set um, goals. You could do New Year's resolutions. And right. like we told before, you can plan them well so you have an action to go with it as you write it. So you like you're wanting to exercise, you plan what you're going to do, you set the side of time to do it, you give up something else, you read your Bible, you maybe don't stay on Facebook so long. You say, hey, I won't go on Facebook for an hour, I'll just go on Facebook for a half an hour and spend a half an hour reading my Bible or praying. Right, or, and, and, or a nice and thing to meditating do. on the Word. I kind of like the idea, um, our daughter just got a treadmill um, for Christmas, and that's something she'd wanted. She had just gone to the gym before, but having well, we it have in a your lifetime membership. Yeah, but having it in your house saves you the time of driving there. You save 15 minutes there, 15 minutes home. But also, you can put on a, while you're exercising, you're doing your treadmill, you can put on uh, like somebody preaching. You, you can, can put, put on, on uh, Truth Wins you and can listen, put, to us, listen to us. You on can, our podcast. Yeah, you can do like and subscribe. Look to look at us on YouTube. You can put on your favorite music and pray in tongues while you're exercising. You get or two you can get a, a gospel, the gospel, and have it uh, read to read you. Read to you. 
Right. You can have a good book, uh, a godly book, and have it be read to you. Right, and then you then you just think of it. You're doing, it's almost like a miracle. You're doing your praying time and your exercise time right. at the it same just, time. You it's have like the benefits, a the benefits of this day that are can and make you kings in life by Christ Jesus, make you a, 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 I would say a, a very, very cognitive Christian that you are walking with the, the spirit of God at all times so that you're, you're, you're like the prophets of age that, that gave themselves totally to the, the prompting of the Lord. Um, I like it. I was just reading a regular book. It was a nonfiction book, but, and so I always kind of like nonfiction books, but one of the things the person said about his father is he got up. Um, every day and he said today's a fabulous day and so I thought maybe that's what I should do today's a fabulous day God's yeah. made it a fabulous day and just put that in your in your daily uh you why know you just when you wake you up put thank, it you, in a, thank you God for this you fabulous do it every day. day why don't you just open your eyes and you go thank you God for a fabulous right. day and yeah. then you watch and you the can speak in tongues come. too you watch the we, miracles I do come. that every morning when I get up I so speak we in tongues remember truth hmm when truth wins right truth wins truth wins um remember listen through the whole thing you don't want to miss any tidbit we might have that's specially for you uh push like and subscribe uh go i got my my one of my my uh, my major christmas presents here Somebody made a or sent us a, uh, a cross, a cross I, I symbolic it, of the uh, cross in Hollywood, the wooden right. cross in Hollywood. You can go look it up, Google it, find out what it's about. It just had its hundredth year anniversary. Yeah, the, and I think they're making a movie of it, and soon right. it will be out. The, that came from Mr. Black. Yes, yeah, so I I think it's good to see all kinds of Christian movies, but it's also good to get up every morning and say. Thank you, God, for the fabulous day. And if you have any prayer requests, go to truthwinds.com and you can call. There's the number there to call for a prayer request. You can leave a message. You, or you can um, put a comment at the bottom of the, this video. It'll be on you can, Rumble and YouTube. And yeah, well, there's, we do like prayer requests. We're available. If you have any questions, uh, we've had really... Um, great results this year um, with prayer people we prayed for having really wonderful healings of all different kinds getting jobs all different things we needed a new car and god gave us a new car right so you have all, a beautiful new car and you can have just anything you'd like to discuss if you'd like us to teach on a topic if you have a question we're happy to answer it or study it Anything else you want to say? Oh, also, we, Jesus is Lord. This year, um, I, I think I read I read a lot of books this year. Uh, you can go to our website. They're all good books. If you read them, you'll learn more about God. We have like a section where you can click on them, and they're on faith. They're histories of people's lives, all just different kinds of things. So we know this year you'll study and show yourself approved. And you know and the truth have, and the truth shall set you free. And you'll have more. And you'll have more. More, 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 more. Know the truth and the, and the more will be more. More. And so. In Jesus' name. We'll say goodbye and goodbye. we'll see you next Wednesday.